In this video, I'm going to talk about solving equations with variables on both sides of the equal sign. So if you notice in this, um, in this equation, you've got a b here, 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 and then you have numbers without variables as well. So you've got b's on both sides and you've got numbers on both sides. So it's not just solving from one side where x is on one side. And this is the next step, and this is actually your final step in solving um, one equation. And so if you can do this type of question, then you just add on some different skills. But basically, what's happening here is I've got the full solution here, and I'm just going to go through what I did. Going from this step to this step, all I did was I multiplied out, and it's called expanding. So I used the distributive law, and I multiplied 7 times 3b to get negative 21b, negative 7 times negative 4 is positive 28, 7 times b is 7b, 7 times 19 is 133 and is positive. If you notice, the signs are also very important. And then I, I also have a minus 11. In this case, it's just 6b, and you have negative 2 times b, which is negative 2b, and then negative 2 times 7 is negative 14. After you've multiplied it all out, now you can start moving some of the numbers around and adding and subtracting. Well, if you've got, and this is called, um, you add and subtract like terms. So you, like terms would be, the b's are like terms because they all have the same variable. The, um, the numbers without a variable are considered like terms as well. So now what you can do is add and subtract them. Um, and so let's do that. First of all, you've got all the b's here, so you have a 5b minus 21b's plus 7b's gives you negative 9b's. And then on the same side of the equation, or the equal sign, you've got 28 plus 133, which is, oh, and the minus 11, which is 150, <laughs> okay? And once you've got, we've done that, then you can get to the other side and just, you're going to add and simplify this side. So basically going from here to here is called simplifying. So you're going to simplify, and again, you can only um, subtract 2b from 6b's, and you get 4b's minus 14. All right, and then from there, what you want to do on this next step, notice that you've got a number with a b, and a number without a b, and a number with a b, and a number without a b. You want to put all the variables, all the numbers with the variables, on the left side, or on one side. It doesn't matter which side, and then you're going to put the numbers on the opposite side. I always like to put the variable on the left side. It makes it easier in the end, because we understand b equals something rather than backwards. Really, you should come out with the same answer, all right? But let's put all the b's on the left side, and so we're isolating the b's on one side. We're putting them over here, and then we're going to put all the numbers on the other side. So that's where you use the same as what we'll what was done in the last video I did, and that's transposition. So because it says you have negative 9b plus 150, you want to put this on the other side, so you do the opposite, which is minus 150. And so you would have negative 14 minus 150, which is negative 164. You also want to put this on the other side. Well, when you put that on the other side, you have to do the opposite. The operation here is plus 4b, so you're going to minus 4b when you put it on the other side, and you end up with negative 9 minus 4, which is 13, negative 13b's. All right? So now you've got the variable on one side, and you've got the numbers on the other side. Now all you have to do is isolate this variable b by itself. It has a negative 13 times b. So because this is times negative 13, you want to divide by negative 13, and so you get 164 divided by 13. Notice the negatives cancel, and then you just put it in, write it as a mixed fraction. And that's it.